Hello everybody, welcome back. We are designing a microstrip branch line coupler and this is exactly where we left. Now we performed the EM simulation on this structure and we found that the performance was acceptable but not that great. Now that will require us to perform EM optimization. Normally we avoid performing EM optimization because uh, it's a very time consuming process and if we could achieve the performance using the circuit simulation and circuit optimization that is much more preferable because that's that's very fast so before i i, I went ahead and I, I, before i go ahead and uh, perform the em optimization of this i thought that let me give another try to this e circuit optimization so what i did is we optimized this uh, structure in this um, schematic uh, optim version 2 and here, if you see, our optimization frequency was from 1.4 to 1.6 gigahertz because our center frequency is 1.5 gigahertz. Now, what I did is I just did file save as and created another version that I'm calling Optim3. So I, I'm just trying to go back to the circuit optimization. And what I did is I just changed this to single frequency simulation or single frequency optimization and my center frequency is 1.5 and then I perform the optimization. So rather than optimizing it from 1.4 to 1.6, I'm just forcing it to achieve the, the goals at that center frequency. Only thing that I did is then I increase my requirement because like, you know, I am at center frequency, the design frequency, and there I should be seeing a deep. So instead of 20 dB or 18 dB, I have negative 15 dB here. This one is negative 15 and the rest of the things are very similar. 3.1 for S21 and uh, 3.1 for S31 as well. The phase is at 90 degrees. So with this, this um, goal, these goals and changing this to single point, I perform the optimization again. And uh, let me turn it off and show you what kind of performance I got. And hit run. And this is the performance I uh, performance I get in in um, EM optimization. Sorry, circuit optimization. And this is much better compared to what I got last time. And since I force it to perform very nicely at the center, so it is it is doing that, and it is also maintaining the performance over over certain bandwidth so not not bad so this is what i will accept now and what i did is i just copied this optimization variable the optimized value this one and okay yes and i went here in the em setup em schematic and i just delete the previous one and copy and paste with this one so the previous value was based on the previous optimization. So I re-optimized at center frequency 1.5 gigahertz and the value of variable that I got from there, that's why I just copy and pasted here. Remove the older one and you know replace that with this new value. And then I did layout, generate update layout again, and it will generate update the layout. And if you see the older structure or mesh due to older structure, you can always go here and say clear momentum mesh and that will clear the previous uh, previous mesh and then again i went back to em setup checked everything that if they they look the where we they look the way uh, we set this up initially so then we perform the em simulation on this and the result of that em simulation is now this one so if you can see here that like even in the em simulation we are getting much 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 better result compared to what we got last time and remember that all this we are able to achieve using the circuit optimization and it was pretty fast maybe in a minute or two and you will see later on that when we perform em optimization although there is no need now but if we perform the em optimization it will take a lot of time now one one thing that we see here that there is slight frequency shift here and you, that you can also observe from the phase uh, uh, shift here because at 1.5 it is not centered but it's still the phase deviation over like uh, the frequency of interest from 1.4 to 1.6 is not that much. This is good enough. 
the insertion loss is also not much different from the ideal value of 3 dB. It's uh, 0.3 dB extra, so, so not that bad. But still, just for sake of completeness, what I will do is I will now perform the EM optimization of uh, this uh, structure now. So uh, please uh, stay tuned, and in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to set up the EM optimization for this.